welcome to my closet. So today I wanted to do a video um, just with some fall fashion outfit inspirations, a um, couple of ideas on how I transitioned like certain pieces. There may be no rhyme or reason. This is pretty much just me showing you some fall outfits with all stuff that is currently in my closet. So I guess this is like a shop my closet type of video. Um, None of the items in here are new or bought for the purposes of this video. It's just kind of using stuff that I currently have in my wardrobe and showing you guys how I like to style um, some stuff for fall. Keep in mind, I live in Virginia, so fall has not yet arrived. <laughs> um, it's still like 85 degrees here and there's a very short period of fall and then it goes into winter. So I don't know. I mean, it's different everywhere. For some people, fall might mean like sweaters and jackets and scarves um, and stuff like that but for us here in Virginia not so much so just kind of wanted to show you guys some ideas some easy ways to put some stuff together just with stuff that I have in my closet so if you're interested in that feel free to continue watching don't forget to like and subscribe um thank you to all the subscribers that have helped me to get um over 100 which I know seems like very little and trivial, but I just kind of started doing this as a hobby for days when I wasn't working. So it's kind of fun to see that grow. So thank you guys so much for becoming a part of this little family. Um, and let's just get into the video. Alrighty, so here's kind of the first example of one of the outfits that um, can easily be transitioned from summer over to fall. Um, so right now, how I've been wearing it, how I wore it today actually, <laughs> Um, is just with a plain white t-shirt um, and just kind of knotted it and then I have this like silky um, slip type skirt um, not the animal print trend that's going on I was trying to find one but just didn't have any luck with it um, but I ended up finding this black one with like a light brown stripe running across it and um, I've been using it just with these little short ankle heels these are from Target um, just a little Amazon hat it's adjustable. I do have a darker one, but left it in the car because guys, I'm just such a great YouTuber. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's how I've been wearing it now. And then I'll kind of show you quickly how I transitioned this look into a fall. All right, so nothing crazy here in terms of kind of changing up the style, um, but I just added a little jean jacket and some little ankle boots, some little Chelsea ankle boots. These are Steve Madden. Um, and kind of that's just one way how you can kind of dress this look up for fall. Um, or you can also doing do it <laughs> by adding a sweater, which I will show you right now. So here's another way that you can wear it, um, just with like a chunky kind of oversized sweater and some boots. Um, a quick tip um, for anyone that is kind of trying out this trend, when you're wearing something that's kind of fitted like this and you don't want a bunch of bulk tucked in, I actually tuck this into my bra um, and then it just kind of falls over just perfectly and then you don't have to worry about any of the bulk like in your skirt. Um, so that's kind of something you can try if you want to. Um, but here's another way just to kind of style up this one piece and transition it over from like the summer to fall. Just, you know, throw on some boots, throw on a sweater, even if you're doing a plain t-shirt, throw on a little, um, denim jacket or a leather jacket and you have yourself a little fall look. So that's this outfit and we will move on to the next. Alrighty, so here is another trend that I've kind of been wearing this summer. This is just a satin slip dress and it's a blue and it has kind of an animal print to it, um, but it's kind of pretty subtle. And then I've been wearing it just with my little Target slides and then a little brown belt just to cinch in the waist, which you don't have to. Um, whew, sorry. I had a breath, I ran up the stairs because I had to <laughs> grab the shoes. But um, yeah, so this is something I actually wore recently to a um, winery out with my husband. I can insert a picture here. Yeah, I really like this outfit. It's really comfy. I didn't really know about the whole um, slip dress trend. I didn't know if I could really pull it off. Um, I'm not that tall. I'm only 5'3", and I just feel like everything looks better on like tall skinny models. But <laughs> um, yeah, so this is something that I've been wearing throughout the summer, and now I will show you how 
to transition so it to fall. Here is the same dress. Um, I just threw a cardigan over top of it. Um, and since I'm wearing a baggy cardigan and the dress also doesn't have a ton of shape, I just belted it with a little black belt. Just using it with a little hat um, could transition it to any different kind of fall hat, but because of the black on here and the black on here, I liked it. And then I'm just wearing a little pair of little um, Tory Burch ankle boots. Um, but I really like this cardigan and it's still kind of simple um, and classy and cute, but a little bit warmer um, for the fall. And you can never go wrong with a good cardigan. You will see this again for other outfit um, choices to come. But yeah, you can do this in so many ways with a dress like this. It's really versatile to have just kind of a slip dress and it doesn't have to be this blue one. You can do one that's more kind of, you know, leopard print. You can throw just a leather jacket over it. You can throw a denim jacket over it, pair it with different boots or just little closed toed shoes options. Um, a way to kind of sport it up a little bit, which isn't really my style, so I didn't show that, but a lot of people have been doing slip dresses with like sneakers. Um, so you could do like just a denim jacket, like an oversized denim jacket and some sneakers, um, and that might work to a little bit more of your taste. Um, but I just love a good oversized little cardigan. I love that this one has a bit of like a bell sleeve um, to it and then like cinches right at the wrist. Um, but yeah, so here's an option of kind of how you can jazz up a little slip dress for fall. So another trend that I have been loving this summer is like the wide leg palazzo pants. Um, I think they're really flattering. They come up like nice and high. So they like really cinch your waist in. Um, it's just a flattering shape. Um, and this is kind of how I've been wearing it on a day when it's like a little bit cooler where you just want to kind of throw something on. But I've just been doing um, these little kind of ankle strap um, leopard print shoes. These are from Target. These pants are from Target. Um, I have them in white and I was wearing that a lot in the summer and then I bought a pair of these like dark green pair recently um, and I've just been doing it with like a little tank top um, and that's just kind of the easiest way for me to style it. It's comfy. I feel like it looks cute. Like honestly I go out in this and I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. <laughs> so this outfit for me is probably going to be the easiest to transition to fall because all you really got to do is throw a jacket over it, throw a cardigan, um, and you're still covered. You can just do some close-toed shoes. Um, so I'm going to show you a cardigan and a kind of fall coat. So you option. really can't go wrong with a trench. Throw a trench over anything. And I have a trench that's more like denim colored, and I had a regular one, but recently I found this one at Target that's more of like a burnt orange um, color and it's more of just like an oversized baggy trench. Um, and I just thought that this was really cute. Um, you can kind of tie it in, cinch it at the waist and just put it with like a cute pair of like low closed toed heels. Um, and it's just like a really classy look. And here's another one, just throw a cardigan <laughs> over anything and it instantly makes it better. This is that cream cardigan again I was wearing with the dress um, outfit, but it's just something easy to throw on over. I feel like it still looks very chic, very trendy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I like it. I think it's comfy. It's not like a crazy leap from the way that I was wearing it before. Um, but if you wanna try out these kind of Palazzo pants trend, just goes to show you that even though the pants are like a baggy fit, Throwing on something baggy over it doesn't leave you like completely shapeless. Like it can still be pretty cute and I think work for the fall. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I'm actually keeping it with these shoes because here it's still pretty warm. And even though I might want a sweater if I'm like feeling chilly, um, I kind of like having my feet out <laughs> a little bit longer. But you can throw some little ankle boots on um, underneath too if you want. But those are just a couple of ways to jazz up this kind of palazzo pants. Outfit. So another trend that has become really popular is the mom jean. Um, these are just from Levi's. They have kind of like a pleated front. Um, they come up nice and high. Um, and I just like wearing jeans with a simple kind of silky tank top, especially in the summertime. It's just such an easy go-to outfit. And you can wear these with, you know, skinny jeans. They don't have to be mom jeans. Um, pull these up a little higher, make them real like mom wedgie style. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is kind of how I would wear it um, now during the summer. 
Um, could also do just a pair of like jean shorts um, with a silky tank top. Um, but that's kind of what I would use during the summertime. And this one especially, and again, this can be done with any different kind of jeans. It doesn't have to be mom jeans. It can be regular skinny jeans. It could be a more kind of baggy fit, but a way that you can kind of dress um, just any regular old pair of jeans up for fall um, is kind of throwing something on top, changing out the shoes. So I'm gonna show you kind of mom jeans with a different top and some different shoes, um, just kind of how I dress Okay, them. so here's just a simple little cardigan as a top, um, kind of cropped, and then just adding on a more like a very fall type jacket. So this is like a quilted um, maroon jacket, also from Target, in case you're wondering. Um, and it's just kind of an easy way to jazz up any like little pair of jeans. Now you can do this with an oversized sweater and still layer on a jacket on top. Um, but this is just kind of how I would transition this piece, especially, oh, hold on, how do people do this? Um, but yeah, this is just one way that I really like it is this kind of cardigan as a top. Um, and then just adding some little boots to it. Um, so you're kind of in it for fall, but it's still not like winter where you're completely like covered up. It's just kind of easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. <laughs> don't copyright me, I was just saying. I don't know how any of that works, but um, yeah. So here's just a little way that I spruced up some mom jeans for fall. So just add a boot, add a little cardigan as a top, and voila. So here's an outfit where I'm not really showing you kind of a transition outfit, but just showing you a must-haves. <laughs> a good pair of jeans and a flannel will get you through fall, no matter what. Um, so this is from American Eagle. It's just like a boyfriend fit flannel, super soft, super comfy. Feels like pajamas, honestly, and I just kind of have it side tucked in. Um, good pair of jeans. These are just some Levi's distressed and then these are actually Toms um, and they're peak toe booties. Again, just for transitioning into fall, sometimes I don't feel like being like completely covered up. I still want some kind of ventilation, whether that's with like leg holes or like a peak toe booty kind of like this. So this is just kind of an essentials where if you're looking for something to wear for the fall, Get yourself a flannel, some cute pair of boots, um, good pair of jeans, and you are pretty much set. Um, this is like one of my easiest like fall uniforms is to throw on a flannel or like a silk tank top with a um, cardigan, which I will show you. So next. again, another like fall staple for me is just a silky tank top and throw a cardigan over it. Um, I don't really buy into the whole no white or creams after Labor Day stuff. I actually love wearing light colors like this in the fall. Um, but here's just kind of an easy everyday go-to. Um, I can change this up and put, you know, a closed-toed boot like my little um, Chelsea boots that I showed you guys earlier or even the Tory Burch ankle boots. Um, I could do a jean or a denim that isn't ripped and do kind of a up to the knee like a brown riding boot and stuff like that but the top pretty much is consistent like a good tank top and cardigan and you're done and it doesn't have to be crazy it's not something like showy and like oh this is new and different whatever like this is a go-to fallout for me i don't care if this is like not on trend like this is my fall go-to is just comfort um so here's just another way of just kind of with some jeans, white on white, cream on cream, and some cute little boots. So that's just one of my must have. So here's another little fall outfit. Um, the essential, I guess I would call it, is having a vest. Um, I recently bought this one. It's in a buffalo plaid because I wanted to match my house, you know, obviously. Um, so. I got this buffalo plaid vest um, off Amazon and it's like the Sherpa on the inside. This is just like a light, very lightweight um, white sweater from Target, but it's kind of off the shoulders a little bit more. Um, and these are just some black over the knee boots. Now, if I were wearing this, I probably would wear a pair of jeans that don't have rips in them, 
but it's currently not fall in Virginia. It's 85 degrees outside. So just running around my house <laughs> filming these, I'm already like sweating. Um, but yeah, so here's another little fall look that you can do. And this can be easily done with a lot of different kind of vests. Um, so my other vest is a cream color. And so I'd probably use like a black sweater underneath and then just the cream on top. Um, black and creams are just really easy to kind of pair anything up in your wardrobe with. Um, so that's kind of how I would wear this. But yeah, I would definitely say vests are a good go-to for fall because it's not quite hot enough for like a big, thick jacket. Um, but sometimes there is nights when you, you know, you want to do a little boot, a little over the knee boot action um, and just have like a lightweight sweater on. So here's another outfit idea of what you can do with the best for fall. So this is something that I wasn't really like hugely into and my mom bought this for me. I think when she had gone to Peru or something and I just loved the colors on it. And so this is kind of the way that I have worn it um, in the fall is just with a pair of jeans, silky tank top and some ankle boots. I get hot pretty easily. So again, I'm not wearing like winter layers until it's full on winter and it's freezing. Um, but this is kind of an easy go-to and it doesn't have to be something like this. They make so many of these kinds where you can like, if I can get it over, you can like drape it over or whatever. I just like keeping it down and open. Um, but the whole poncho scarf situation thing is an easy piece that you can wear for fall. Um, and then you can kind of dress up whatever jeans, whatever top you want, just by kind of throwing this on. And it still looks really chic and comfortable. Um, yeah, so I just paired it with my Tory Burch um, ankle boots, the Levi's ripped jeans that I was wearing, and this silky top, silky top from Banana Republic. Um, so that's another kind of fall go-to outfit for me. So here's another kind of easy fall outfit for me. Um, Again, unlike the whole kind of skirt trend, although this is like a sweater material, it's more like of a knitted pleated skirt and it's blue and just has like this light kind of sheen shimmer to it. Um, I just paired that with my little um, leopard print um, open toed shoes, um, just cause again, I mean, you can, you can just put this with booties and it would give the same effect, but I love these shoes and I'm probably gonna wear them until it's too cold for my feet to be out. <laughs> Um, and then I'm just wearing a silky tank top, again, doing the trick of tucking it into your bra so that it's not bunched up in your skirt. And then just throwing on a leather jacket over top. Um, it's kind of cool, edgy. Um, again, I could just do it with like some black little ankle booties um, and it would have the same effect, but I just really like these shoes right now. <laughs> so, um, but that's kind of another idea of how you can style an outfit um, for fall. Um, because this one is like a sweater material, I like the way it looks with like the contrast of like a silky top or a leather jacket. I probably wouldn't wear an oversized sweater with this like I can with the other silky skirt that you saw or um, even throwing like a chunky sweater over that um, silk dress. But yeah, here's another little fall outfit. Another idea. way to kind of wear this skirt is almost like a denim on denim monochromatic situation. So I'm doing a lot of blues. This is like a chambray, um, like summer tank that I kind of just tied up high and then I have a denim jacket and then the blue of the skirt and then I'm just pairing it with a very neutral little booty um, on the bottom. This one's a little different. Some people might not like the whole kind of one color um, trend, but it's, you know, it's comfy, it's cute. Um, so here's kind of another idea of how you could wear um, a longer kind of midi skirt, um, just by tying a little tank top, throw a little jacket over it. If you want to change up the colors, if you want to do a leather jacket, you know, depending on what kind of skirt, um, I could do this very easily with a, if I had a leopard skirt, I would probably do something like this and then have a leather jacket over top of it, um, to kind of pull from the blacks. And then I could do like a little black ankle boot, but here's kind of an all one color family, um, type of look for fall. <laughs> Another fun fall um, kind of wardrobe piece is a shirt dress. Um, this one is a little bit more kind of 
structured. It has like the cinched and a bit of a flare to the skirt. Same with like the big kind of flared out sleeves. But you can do this with kind of any shirt dress and just add some boots to it. Um, I'm just wearing this pair of ankle boots um, because since the dress is longer, it hits about my knees. I don't really mind having that much leg out. Um, but yeah, so kind of denim shirt dress is an excellent way to go. Cute little outfit to wear for the fall. Um, you could dress it down a little bit by wearing more of a flat or higher boot. Um, but yeah, here's another one that I like to wear for fall. And this is just my denim shirt dress from Banana Republic and my Tory Burch um, ankle boots. Um, haven't really been changing up the accessories a whole lot in this. Um, my necklace is just kind of the necklace that I wear every day now. It's from Majuri. If you want some info on that, you can watch my Majuri review. Um, I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, just a shirt dress is like a super easy way to go. You could even throw a vest over this. Um, you could throw that, um, my burnt orange like trench coat. Um, but that's just kind of an easy look that I like for the fall. I don't know why I keep saying for the fall. Obviously, you know what this video is about. Whatever. Maybe I'll try and edit that out. <laughs> but there's just another thing that I like to wear in the cooler months. Another thing I like for fall is jumpsuits. I got really into jumpsuits over the summer um, and have some summer ones that are a bit shorter. They're not completely floor length, but just this is just, just this is just, this is just a um, navy blue floor length um, jumpsuit. And I'm just gonna throw my, um, jacket over top of it so give me something like very easy very chic um very streamlined it's you're literally putting on two pieces of clothing you know a jumpsuit and a cute jacket over top you could do it with something more simple you could do it with just a little denim jacket um you could do it with a leather jacket if you have like one of those more cropped like moto jackets um some people have them in more of like a tan color that will look really cute um but i just really like this trench coat um, it's, this one is new. I haven't worn it since I bought it and um, bought it for the fall. And again, it's like 85 degrees here still in Virginia. Um, but yeah, jumpsuits are a good, easy way to go. You just kind of put on one thing and throw a jacket over it. So you can't go wrong with monochrome. It's kind of the easiest thing to put together. It's just black on black on black on black. So I have this, um, kind of perforated leather skirt and just a slouchy kind of, it's like fitted, but also like really loose and flowy. Again, I just did the method of tucking into my bra, that way it's not kind of messing up with the line of the skirt. And then I just have this on with some black ankle boots. You can wear higher ones because I'm short. If I did wear higher ones, I'd be like completely covered. So <laughs> that's just kind of one easy way to do it. I would probably wear this even with, um, my leopard print, the ankle strap um, flat shoes that I have, um, or with just a the pair of ankle strap heels too. I also do them with just a pair of shoes um, like this to make it a little bit more um, dressy. But yeah, you really can't go wrong with monochrome anything. And you could do the same thing with just a black sweater and some black skinny jeans and some black boots. Um, and yeah, so monochrome, easy way to go. And here's just one last one um, with white denim because again, I don't buy into the whole no white after Labor Day thing. You do you, wear white whenever you want. Um, so I'm just wearing these white jeans that have kind of a distressed hem, wearing them with my little Chelsea boots um, and just kind of like a fitted navy v-neck sweater. Um, and I would probably wear it with this. So I'll show you that. Yeah, so just very easy, comfy. Um, yeah, so I don't really know where I'm going with this video. I guess I ended up just showing you a couple of items on how I transitioned pieces and just some other outfits that um, I wear <laughs> a lot during the fall. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about any of the items that I may not have talked about, feel free to just comment below and I will answer them. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys got some style ideas for some fall outfits and I will see you in my next one.